Well, hello everybody. This is Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama, and I'm so glad that you have joined with us. We are continuing through our Kings and Prophets series, and this is Lesson 1, and I'm changing the format just a little, making it a little different right here. Uh, these videos, I hope, will be uh, a good bit shorter than what they've been before. In the past, they've been 8 to 10 minutes long, which is okay, but we're covering so much information. And what I've decided to do is to actually break them up to little snippets, hopefully around three to four minutes at the most. And so I just ask that you just uh, spend three minutes with us uh, day by day, step by step, however you can do it. Make sure that you read the scripture. Okay, The scripture is very, very important. And read it and see what the Lord says to you. Then I'll have a couple thoughts on it. And so we are at lesson one, and this is video one. And I've actually entitled this one, uh, Is It Not Because There's Not a God in Israel? And what we see here is in Second Kings, the first chapter, Ahazia uh, falls to the lattice. He has an accident, and he's wanting to know if he's going to die. And so he sends his messengers to inquire of Baal-zebub, that's an interesting name, Baal, Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron. He did not inquire of the god of Israel, but he went to inquire of another god. And so the angel of the Lord comes to Elijah and says, uh, I want you to go and intercept these messengers and give a word to the king. And so uh, Elijah goes, he intercepts the messengers, and he tells the messengers, I want you to return, I want you to say this to the king. So they return to the king, and the king says, why have you come back so soon? He said, And they said, well, we encountered this man along the road, and here's what he has to say to you. Thus says the Lord, which means this is the word of the Lord. Is it because there is no God in Israel that you are sending to inquire of Baal-zebub, the God of Ekron? Therefore, you shall not come down from the bed where you have gone up, but shall surely die. That was the word of the Lord uh, to Ahazia. Ahazia then inquired of them and said, What kind of man spoke of this? And they started describing him, and he went, Oh, gosh, it's Elijah. Now, in our next video, we'll look to see what his response was. But here's the question for us today. When we have problems, when things come our way, when we encounter things, to whom do we turn? You know, we probably say, we don't turn to a false god, to a pagan god. Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. I think sometimes we turn to our religion. I think sometimes we turn to our ability to do something. I think we turn to a lot of things other than the Most High God. And we would do well to check in whom we inquire. This is one of two major statements that we're going to encounter here at the beginning of this course. And this is the first one. Is it because there is no God? Well, of course there is. There is the Most High God. And it is He in whom we trust. And so I would encourage you to do likewise. If you have any questions or comments or anything, send me an email. And I thank you for being with us. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.